All right, guys, well, I'm back today with an update on the Heritage Rough Rider 22 Long Rifle Revolver, and this thing is truly budget plinking perfection. I think I titled the original video that, and it lives up to its name. Since then, I've been spinning a little bit more, learning a little bit more about single action firearms, and I've absolutely fallen in love with this gun for a few reasons, and we'll talk about those after we talk about the performance update of this particular revolver. Some of you guys want to know how these things hold up in the long term, and I get a lot of high value and budget minded people that want to know, is this going to last me a while or should I invest in something more? And again, I've probably put about 2,000 to 2,500 more rounds through this gun since I did the review, and it has worked flawlessly. No issues whatsoever, and it is still a tack driver. Not only that, I've probably dry fired this about five or 6,000 times with snap caps with the safety on and with snap caps with the safety off. And this has been great. Nothing is broken. Nothing has um, really been damaged at all. And in fact, while I'm learning to spin this stuff, I've dropped it on cement, rocks, uh, gravel, uh, dirt, grime, grit, and it still is working beautifully. Now, a lot of the screws were backing out as I was dropping it, fumbling around with it, and dry firing it about five or 6,000 times. So I added a little Loctite about 1,000 rounds ago to all the screws holding everything together, and nothing has walked loose since. And this thing, guys, is built like a tank. Again, did I mention I dropped it on cement, dinged up the muzzle right here, but left the crown untouched, and this thing still shoots like a champ. And I am just incredibly impressed at the quality of the build of this revolver. So if you are merely here looking for an update, it's doing great. And Palmetto State Armory has these on sale right now. In fact, they have this particular version with the American flag grips on sale for $119 with free shipping. And I believe they had this one on sale for a while with $119 with free shipping. The best thing to do is head over to my 704 Gear Facebook page and check out those links. I'm going to link right now for the next few days the very best deals on these uh, Heritage Rough Rider revolvers. And a lot of those will be affiliate links. So if you decide to go over there and click it, it does have out the channel. And then I'll be leaving some of these links over on my 704 Tactical MeWe page. Again, some of those will be affiliate links depending on where I find the best deals on this guy. Now this revolver is pretty slick, but it does have some quirks like we talked about in the first review. And that is the material is probably substandard compared to like a Ruger single six or something like that. But it is not that substandard in my opinion overall. Guys, this has held up great and the finish has done very good. Again, I drop this all the time and I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack in the comments about spinning and flipping guns and how I'm doing it wrong, but I am just doing this for fun and I really enjoy it. And the cool thing about this revolver is when you put that safety on, it puts this little rotating bar to kind of a half cock position to where when you drop the hammer, it does not engage the firing pin, so I'm not damaging the gun by dry firing it with the safety on, or at least I've done it about five or 6,000 times and nothing is broken on the gun. Also, I like to put this on half cock. Well, you put it on half cock to load it, but then you can load it up with these snap caps to even do an extra level of protection to protect your firearm and to make sure you are always safe when you're spinning and flipping your gun. Load this up with snap caps, put the safety on, and that is a good safe way to practice. Now, practicing with live ammunition, I'm not going to give you any tips or tricks because I don't really recommend you do it, or at least not looking at my channel getting advice. Find other modes of advice, find other people, other trainers that can teach you this kind of stuff. This is mainly an update video and kind of bringing you guys along in my journey with the Heritage Rough Rider 22 Long Rifles, and I absolutely love them. Again, links to that best prices I found right now on PSA will be over on my 704 Gear Facebook page, as well as my 704 Tactical MeWe page. And I want to give a huge shout out to my cameraman, Brett, for really teaching me everything I know. He's much better at it than I am. And a lot of the stuff in the intro is him kind of spinning this gun. I just greatly appreciate his help on making these videos. And I can absolutely recommend one of these Heritage 22 Long Rifle uh, handguns or revolvers. They are really cool single action plinkers. Whether it be for a new shooter learning or an experienced shooter just looking for something that's fun to kind of flip and shoot. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.